Hello, I am Flash Isaac. This is Flash Ninas. You are now watching 120 Days to Jam. This is a series containing 120 videos to prepare you for jam. Each episode of the series contains introduction, outline, detailed class, questions, and homework for you. The questions and homework are from the Flash Learners Jam application. Install Flash Learners Jam app today to access all the free features. Click activate and scroll to buy activation key to get access to the golden features. Don't be scared, the app is affordable. Do you have trust issues? Simply chat me directly on Facebook, WhatsApp, Instagram, and Telegram for installation and activation instruction. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to take off 120 days to jump mathematics with Flash Isaac, episode number one. Today's question from the Flash Learners Jump application requires us to have a sound knowledge of place values, significant figures, decimal places, and percentage errors. What are place values? Place values or the place value of a number is simply the value, the magnitude of that number by virtue of its position. Look at it. The value of numbers are not generally based on their size. It is generally based on the position of the number. For example, if I say 2, I write another number, 9. In this case, you will tell me that 9 is bigger than 2. Why? By virtue of the size. How about I say 29? This time around, we have 2 and 9 together. Which of them is bigger? By virtue of their position, the place, the value of 9 is simply 1. It's a single number. The value of 2 here is 10. You therefore say 29. In 29, 2 is bigger than 9. That is what place value is about. Now let's see various numbers and their place value. Values or digits to the right of the decimal point and digits to the left of the decimal point. When you move this way, the digits here are bigger. When you move this way, they get smaller. Why counting numbers in number line, the middle of every number is zero. Zero is not the first number. It is the middle of every number. We have the same number to the right of zero, positive number, as we have to the left of zero. Which means, if you have one here, here is minus one. If you have one thousand here, to the other side, you have minus one thousand. Positive and negative numbers in number line. As you move further, going this way, the first number after decimal point towards this side, the place value is 1. So the value of 6 there is 1. After 1, the next number, its place value is 10 or 10, which means the value of 5 here is simply 50. The value of 6 here is simply a, a single number, so 1. As you move further, you have hundreds. Hundreds. The value of 4 or the place value of 4 in this digit or in this number is simply 100. So the value of 4 here, you can say 400. That is the place value, which means by virtue of position, 4 is more valuable than 6. And as you move to this side, the next number, any value it is, these values can be any number. No matter the number that they are, the place value remains the same. 
If you have to be seven, eight, six, no matter how you scatter it, place value remains the same. It is by position, not by the value of the number. Then, here is hundred thousand. The place value of three here is thousands. Three thousand. Then next, you have tens or ten thousands. So everything here from here to here is 23,000. So and when you put two numbers together, it's 10, 3,000. So therefore, 10,000. The place value of 2 is 20,000. Then here is 100,000. 100,000. Thousands. If you have a next one, its place value will be million. Let's say you have 9 here. The place value will be million. So, 9 million. How about after the decimal point? After the decimal point, the first value you have, or the first digit you have, the place value is 10. As you move towards this way, you have N or D, S. But towards this side, it is T, H, S. 10. No, 10. T E N T H S. Then the next one is hundreds. H U N D R O E D T H S. You add T H to them. Hundreds. Then next is thousand. Thousand. Then here is ten thousand. Zant. Then you have hundred thousands and so on. Which means after now, when you are given a number and asked to look for the place value, you will simply know the place value of that number by position. Up next is significant figure. Zero five zero one. The first significant figure is the first digit or the first value after the decimal point that is not zero. So for here, the number after the first, after the decimal point that is not zero is four. So which means here is the first significant figure. After you got in the first significant figure, any other number is second, third, fourth, and so on. So this is the second. This is the third, this is the fourth. If I ask you to approximate this number to two significant figure, what do you do? You simply write 23.00. The first significant figure is four, the first number that is not zero. The second significant figure is six, but the number after six is bigger than four, is five. We do our normal approximation. Take one from here, round this off to seven. So here becomes seven. So this is to two significant figure. Here, the first significant figure is one. The first number after the decimal point that is not zero. The second is zero. After you've gotten the first significant figure, the next number, whether it is zero or not, it is simply the Second significant figure. This is third as well. This is fourth. And this is fifth significant figure. Decimal places is simply the value of number or the numbers to the right or the digits to the right of the decimal place. After you have decimal point, bah, bah, the next number is one decimal place. Whether it is zero, it is not zero. So, to one decimal place, this number is 23.0. We don't care whether here is zero or not. So, if I say approximate this to two decimal places, you simply say 23.00. That is it. So, the next number is not up to five. So, you can't round off. If I say approximate this to three decimal places, one decimal place to three. But since the one after the third is more than four, 
you can approximate here becomes 5 therefore to three decimal places this guy is 23.005 sometimes you reason this is what i want this is what i like this to be this is what i'm trying to get at the end you discover that you've not gotten exactly what you want so there is an error or you give your tailor this type of clause to make and the tailor makes this <laughs> so there is difference between <laughs> the measured value and the actual value so that is error error is the difference between the measured value and the actual value then percentage error is when you are expressing this error in percent so anytime you are given question and you are asked to look for percentage error percentage error is simply is simply measured value which is the error minus actual value which is the correct thing or what you are supposed to get over actual value times 100 the measured value can be anything you can say what you are supposed to uh, what you got what is achievable the value we got that is what measured value is or it is say the wrong value actual value is the right value what you are supposed to get then over actual value now this is usually in absolute value do you know why sometimes the actual value might be bigger than your measured value you arrive at a negative number so we don't need negative number while calculating percentage error when you subtract whether you get plus or minus ignore and so like that that is absolute value now look at this question it says instead of a boy to correct 0 0.0244 cc to three significant figure what did the boy do he corrected it to three decimal places <laughs> which means what the guy is supposed to get is this value to three significant figure and what is this value to three significant figure it is simply 0, 0.0 the first significant figure is two second is four third is four but the next one is bigger than four so we round off so here becomes five five so for three significant figure, that value is 0 0.0245. But what did the guy do? He approximated to three decimal places. And what is three decimal place? It is simply after the decimal point, one, two, three. So 0 0.024. This is now the actual value. And this is the measured value. Percentage error Is therefore equals the measured value 0 0.024 minus the actual value 0 0.0245 over the actual value 0 0.0245 times 100 time for homework open the flash and dump application go to question search search percentage error Answer question number one, question number two, and question number three. See you in the next episode.